Claro. Is muted.
There we go. Hi. <laughs> I'm putting it in this screen for like a second. Only because I need to put the actual game on. Hi, I started! Uh <laughs> Prime! Prime! Let's go! Hi, Aster! Thanks for the follow! Hello! Wawa! How dare you! Hold on, I have a water right here. Hi! Welcome, first time chatter. How are you? I turned off the music because I'm setting up the game now. And then if this gets too, not boring, but like, you know how FNAF can get after a while. If it gets like that, then I might just switch to Danganronpa. Oop. Uh. Ah! <laughs> Is there a... I can't adjust the settings, can I? Oop. I didn't mean to do that. Just kidding. Hold on. Can I... Turn on to Freddy's. I need to turn the gain down just a little bit. I think because it's really loud at least in my ears but it's fine um if it's loud for anyone else sorry Whoa. uh oh hold on the game's all white for me <laughs> Hello? Can I close? Okay. Sorry. Let me try that again. Okay. We're fine. I'm just gonna start... I'm gonna just start a new game. Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. We know how this works. Let's go, boys. 12 a.m. Midnight. Water. I have my water. Thank you. <laughs> Is my... Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, wait. Uh, which one's Foxy again? That one. Okay, sick. Um, There's no way to, like, mute the thing. Okay, cool. There it is. Cool. I don't care. I don't want to hear the night again. I don't want to hear the call again. Um, I we only really need to check for these three and Foxy, and then we need to check over here. Yeah. Okay. We're fine. Um. Yeah. So how have you guys been? Happy Hollow's Eve Eve. <laughs> um. If I was a FNAF creature, like in all of the FNAF games, or just just this one. Because if it's just this one, yes, all okay. Um, oh, hi, Freddy's playing his little funny music. Okay, no, no one's come out yet. Um, I don't know actually. I don't know. Have they started moving? They have not. This one's Foxy? Okay. That's fine. As long as they haven't moved from the stage, we're fine. But, um... I don't know, actually. Probably... Probably Chica. Like, original Chica. I don't know. Chica just sticks with me. <laughs> you think I'd be Balloon Boy? That's lovely to hear. Thank you. Dumb, someone's stepping around. Someone's walking. You hear that? Someone walk. Which one moved? None of them moved yet. Damn. Okay. Hey. You think I... That'd be fat. That's actually kind of funny. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. 
balloon boy. Hi. <laughs> the I used to be able to do a really good balloon boy impression. I can't really do it anymore. Um, yeah. What would you be, Aster? You know what? Chat, what would you be? <laughs> if you guys are in the FNAF universe, what the hell would you be? Okay. They haven't moved. It's 1 a.m. <sighs> this is gonna get really annoying really fast, isn't it? <sighs> Trying to listen. Now Foxy's singing. Foxy's singing his little funny song. Okay, yeah, and they haven't moved. <laughs> Gregory claimed dance too. <laughs> Maybe that's. <laughs> you know what? That is fair enough. That is so fair. They haven't moved. And I keep checking. So I need to stop. Because I'm going to run out of. Do, 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 do. Can I? Oh, wait. Freddy's singing his little funny song. His ha ha funny song. Okay. Wawa. More Wawa? Okay, I got Wawa. Hold on. Thank you. Um. Yeah, I don't know, chat. Would anyone doing anything interesting? I'm. Someone's walking. Who walked? Bonnie, where are you? Oh wait, was that you? That wasn't you. Okay. Um. I don't know where Bonnie went. Uh oh, I'm starting to get scared now. <laughs> Goaded with the sauce. That is so true, actually. Who's walking? Who wants to say hi to me? Oh, hi, Bonnie! There you are! Okay, sorry, that scared me. Hello there. We're directing onto hello there. Ah! I forgot that screen came up. <laughs> no! That spooked me. Okay. Uh, Freddy's still singing his little funny song. Oh, there he is. He's down the hall. He's over there. <laughs> Just trying to say hi to your bestie. So true. <laughs> I forgot how ominous this was. God. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I used to be less scared. I haven't done this in a second. Wow. Okay. Foxy's singing his little funny song. He's still in the hallway. Okay. Okay. Boop Freddy. Again? If... <laughs> Boop. <gasps> Fuck. Uh oh. Don't walk at me like that. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Oopsies. <laughs> Hi, Storm. How you doing? He's not there no more. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now I'm starting to get a little spooked. <laughs> this this game is still spooky. Um, okay. Uh, oh my god, they both moved. Okay, I don't have to check for either. I can just check here, and I'll be fine. Because I remember somewhere that I don't really have to, um... There's no game audio? I'm gonna kill myself, really? Okay. I'll... <laughs> no! 
Everything is dying. Lovely. Hold on. There is? Okay. It might be here, and that's true. Well, whoops. <laughs> the music is kind of funny. <laughs> Hold on. Technical difficulties chat. If I click. <laughs> Cloudy. That's weird. Hold on. Ugh. Okay, it's not liking when I do that. But I can do that. Let's try... Let's try this again. Better? Maybe? If I keep escaping, it's gonna hate me. Weird. Hmm. Well, not, well, at least for me, there's no game audio. So what about you guys? Is there game audio? I can't tell. Not anymore. Yeah. Okay. And then if I open it like that, is there stuff? Maybe. I don't know. Not that I can hear. <sighs> okay. Hold on. I don't know if it doesn't like game capture. What about window capture though? Girl, I just want FNAF. That's all I want. Is that getting it? that better is there game audio please tell me there's game audio or i will cry Where's my, oh. Hold on a second. Ah. Everything is dying, just like me. This is not my tablet, my tablet is in the, my backpack. Is there game audio now? Is it working? Please tell me it's working. If it's not working, I'm going to cry. can't see my okay so it is just being finicky hold on rip for naf no so true okay i'm gonna try and open it again ready hold on there <laughs> it should be working now hopefully this game audio 
If there isn't, I'm going to cry. And I'm also going to pull up my own stream so I can see. Because I should be fine. Oh, that's funny. Sorry. Um. Uh, <laughs> I can't tell. Hold on. There isn't. Dang it. Okay. I just pulled up my own stream. That's so annoying. Really? No. I'm going to cry. Why is it not liking it? That's so annoying. I'm so sorry. Rip audio. So true. But I'm assuming you can hear me, right? Okay, I thought so. That's weird. Hmm. Let me... I'm closing out of FNAF. We love technical difficulties. I'm such a professional. Okay, I'm opening it again. I'm opening... Whoa. I'm reopening FNAF. I wonder if that does anything. Does that do anything? Maybe. I think I hear static. Is that hey, what's supposed to be heard? Yeah, there's they're supposed to be well, not static. Well, hold on. I'm gonna open the game. Hold on. Oop, there I go. Can you hear the phone call? No, I cannot. That's gross. The phone's ringing. No, it is not. Well, for me, it is. That's. Stupid. It is not. It is not ringing on our end. Uh, I'm gonna throw myself off the Grand Canyon. Okay. That's weird. No, you're not allowed to. Why not? Uh, because you're supposed to be the entertaining streamer person. <laughs> okay. Huh. And also, you, you're not the only one with technical issues. It's fine. <laughs> That's weird. Okay. Has it done that in the past? Huh. That's weird. I have weird. no idea. Hold on. I'm switching to... Hold on. I was able to hear it kind of... Oh my god, I'm a pan cat. <laughs> um I was kind of able to hear it somewhat um earlier at the start uh -huh. but it was real quiet That's gross. Okay, well then he That's weird. It worked when I did the funny murder game, so I don't know. I don't know. Uh, do I have to play the funny murder game so I can get audio? Because I will be upset. Possibly. Damn. Okay. Well, I, I'm having hardware issues right now. Oh. Huh. <laughs> Waiting for a charge at this point. That's fair. Funny name. Uh, Murder Boys. Murder. <laughs> okay. I don't know. That's fair. <laughs> I got one. I'm gonna be real. When I, I I joined in before you started, and I thought you were in your streaming VC. 
on accident. Oh, no. <laughs> you scared me. <laughs> uh, and then I'm like, oh, I'll see if they go live. Yeah. Let's see. All right, well, you have fun. I'm going to go work. All right, you do that. Bye-bye. Bye. This music's really freaking loud. Okay. Sorry, chat. That's so upsetting. Let me try that again. Let me see if it likes getting something else. Yeah, at some point. Yeah, I will eat. I'll I'll eat after stream. I promise. Um, well, it's gonna be very loud, so I'm turning off the music. It's gonna be very loud, chat. So forgive me. <laughs> oh, I can. Never mind. I forget out how. Dang, 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 dang. back i need to go to the options that's fine okay sick oops load chapter two cool let's continue yep okay sick oh god what happened well i know the trial happened last time uh it's a kind of free time on my hands what are we doing? Oh, are they talking about? Hmm. I'd like to make an announcement. Oh no! Every time you come, you overcome a class trial here at Hope's Peak, a whole new world will open up to you. Oh no! What the heck? Oh no! You guys. It'd really suck if you guys have to live here forever with nothing new to stimulate you. So true. Besides, I know how you kids get these days with your ADD and ADHD. Hey, hey now. <laughs> Monokuma, you didn't have to call us out like that. Very so go ahead, look, nice. all, look around all you want. Enjoy the brave new post-trial world till you explode. <laughs> exactly! So rude! How dare you! <laughs> uh, <laughs> leaving us even more confused than when he showed up. A new world? Oh yeah. Could it be... A way to get outside? No. I wonder that seems about unlikely. that. Exactly. Piece of shit! Oh my god, Mondo. Well, we don't we don't know until we look, you know. Hey. Whatever he meant, it seems we'll have to search the school one more time. You hear me? Okay, then let's split up and start investigating. No, Kiyotaka. Shut up. When you're done, everyone meet back up at the dining hall and we'll share what we found. Ouch. Hmm. A one trick pony, yep. Got it! Mm, more like staple food stores. Now let's get moving. Okay, sick. Uh, everyone scattered and left the gym. Okay, great. I... Okay, there's nothing to look at. So, we can leave the area. Uh, let's talk to... Like, let's just talk to Hiro. What the heck? Hey, Makoto. Did you see what's inside the display case? What's... What's inside the display case? Wait. I didn't notice anything weird in there. Hmm. Sure, you, to the untrained eye, it's nothing, but it's awful, bad, awful, terrible trap. We're what? Serious. That's the stuff you see lined out there. Any god could come by and use it to send a message. Oh. Huh? Uh -oh. I, oh my god. It's ill omen to total devastation and ruin. <laughs> Let me out of here! Let me out! Oh no. What? Is it these things? Our trophies and other items. Winning championships stuff probably came from naturally. Uh-huh. 
Weird. Okay. Yeah. Um. Thank you. Got it. Kind of look. What? The gate blocking the stairs is gone. It would seem the path to the second floor has opened. You hear me? Oh, that's right. I forgot it opened. Oh god, important to double check the areas we already know about just in case. That is so true. Without a doubt. Aren't I so clever to think of that? I really impress myself sometimes. No, you don't. You understand? Thanks, Kyo. I'll leave the school to you. Thanks. Kyo. Can I I can go up. The gate was blocking the stairs had been opened. Yep. Is this what Monokuma meant? Indeed. If so, what's up there? Lots of things. The second floor of the school. Maybe some kind of clue. I'm sure there's gotta be something here. Um. Oh god. I don't remember what's up here. The bathrooms. Uh, another hallway. More classrooms. Oh, the library. The library. Oh, that's right. I'm talking to Kyoko. Because I love Kyoko with my <sighs> entire being. It's remarkably dusty in here, and the lighting is less than ideal. So true. For a library, it's not the kind of place I'd want to do much reading in. So, yep. Let's talk to... I'm gonna go that way. So, you fool me? That's... Oh, <laughs> Some kind of archive. All I saw in there was stacks of old books and files. Can't imagine what business you would have in there. Oof. That's true, I don't really have any reason to check it out. I know, but I wanted to check talk to you for me, stupid. <laughs> You're shocked? How come? Damnation! They have all these books in here and not one copy of any of my works. <sighs> what? Why would they have comics in the library? I mean, <laughs> most fanfic is just porn drawn by a bunch of amateurs. That's... Okay. <laughs> not at all. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh... Uh huh. A face like yours, anyone can tell nothing you do is worthwhile. Damn! <laughs> Toko, rude. Well. <laughs> Judge a book by its author. Well. You know nothing! Why does he look like that? <laughs> now, here, this appearance. Appearances mean nothing at all. What a, what you see before you is nothing more than the rind that contains the meaty pulp of my genius. Uh huh. Never say that again. Here we go. The creations are what determine my meaning and value. <laughs> so full of it. Yeah. <laughs> so are you, Toko. Shut up. I used to be mis. I'm used to being misunderstood. You think weak attacks like yours will drop my HP? <laughs> I keep seeing this stupid sprite and like the little thing on the inside of his glasses looks like his eye, so it looks like he's cross-eyed, and it's very very funny to me. Yeah, they worry me a lot too, Makoto. Hmm. But still, this library is most interesting. What's interesting about it? Stop talking. I'm nothing. I was just thinking out loud. Damn. I must be pretty happy to have all these books around, huh, Toko? <laughs> Not particularly. Nothing's really caught my attention so far. Yeah. Mm hmm. Indeed, there's a plethora of books. It's true, but the content seems lacking. <laughs> it's lacking. <laughs> Sorry. No, nothing. Where is the comic books? Where are the young adult section? No one. Huh? Comic books? Young adult? This stuff's a waste of time. Well, Togo. Hmm. 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 I think what you write, hmm. Isukawa. Right, talented as you are, your stuff isn't any more worthwhile. What the heck? Hey. I yawned. That was rude. Don't compare them to that garbage of yours. Damn! <laughs> <clears throat> Your writer doesn't even mean anything. It's just a bunch of jumbled up letter letters. Oh my god. Someone should just burn it all. So... <laughs> I'm not gonna read that. <laughs> me thinks. <laughs> me thinks. <laughs> not the gay action. <laughs> it's anime or comics or fanfic or whatever. Uh, I'm telling you! Okay. Throwaway culture that'll be trash and forgotten in half a decade. That is... Yeah! Damn. Just talking about it makes me stick to my stomach. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. The, the voice lines. I feel so bad. These two are really starting to freak me out. I sh Damn. Okay. Okay. I've talked to literally everyone. Ooh, letter. 
Shelf is covered in dust, but on the shelf is a letter. What's this? Hope's Peak Academy. Indeed. Is buried under a thick layer of dust. It must have been sitting there for quite a while. Dang. How long is quite a while, though? Shall we see what's inside? Or we should read other people's mail without their permission. Is that right? What we shouldn't do is leave this, leave this here without finding out what's inside. That's... Okay. I broke the seal on the, on the dusty envelope and pulled out a single sheet of paper I found inside. I unfolded the paper and read what was written there. From Hope's Peak Academy ex Executive Office. While throughout the years we have been committed to shaping the youth who will one day shape the world. We have a long, proud history of an institution of higher learning with full governmental support. Our graduates enter society ready to take on active leadership roles in every major field, major job field. Jesus. However, Hope Peak Academy must now lower the curtain on its glo glorious history for the time being. This decision was not an easy one to make, but serious issues beyond our control have made it necessary. But no, but make no mistake, this is not the end of this is not the end for Hope Peak Academy. We intend to reopen our doors as soon as the issues forcing our closure have been resolved. That being said, this is the end for now. And I would like to personally and sincerely thank everyone for your help and support over the years. For now, we are awaiting official governmental authorization to formally cease operations. Good God, I can't read. What does this mean? Hmm. The contents of this letter are quite interesting indeed. So it would seem... It would seem Hope Speak had stopped functioning as a school and judging by the amount of dust the letters had collected it doesn't seem to have happened recently yeah if i had to guess i'd say this letter could be a year old at least a year old so you're saying home speak academy closed down at least a year ago <laughs> yeesh most likely the mastermind took over the abandoned school in order to put on this little performance yeah but that would mean it was closed when i got here just a few days ago Oop. But it didn't get that sense at all. That's, yeah. Plus, if the school had shut down, don't you think they would have put all the newspapers and stuff? I mean, you're saying it could have happened over a year ago, right? But before I got here, I looked up some stuff online about the school and never saw anything about this. So, in other words... That must have been part of the Mastermind's plan. They lured us all in here. Someone who could create a place to judge and execute people could potentially be... Wow, could potentially be capable of anything. I can't read, my guy. Hm. Good God, of course that's all assuming that this letter is real. However, if it is real though, it, that does solve one mystery surrounding the school. The reason there are no other students here could be because the school had already closed down. Hm. That would be nice, a simple solution. It's true. But then what about this other part? This decision was not an easy one to make, but serious issues beyond our control have made it necessary. Yeah. But make no mistake, this is not the end for Hope's Peak Academy. We intend to reopen our doors as soon as the issues of forcing the closure have been resolved. What do they mean by serious issues? <clears throat> cough, cough, death, cough, cough. <laughs> it's apparently why the school had to close. Is there any connection between that and what's happening now? No. Yeah. If, these, if these two events, events are in fact connected, Covering that connection would be a useful clue on top of figuring out the mastermind's motive. Ah! Sorry. Although I couldn't say any more until we find more details. Hm. So in other words, only the mastermind knows the truth right now. So true. The mastermind's motive. If we can figure out why they would want to imprison us all here, will that be enough to get us out of here? Or... Um... There's a thick layer of dust on top of the dust on top of the desk. Wow. Guys, I need to go back to school. It looks like the library's been neglected for a pretty long time. As nice as the school itself is, whoever's in charge of upkeep has been pretty lazy. Strange. I got a coin. Books. The shelf is packed tight with books, but looking at it, the whole thing is incredibly dusty. It looks like this library has been neglected for a pretty long time. As nice as the school of itself, uh huh. Yeah. Oh, the mouse? Okay. Looks like a laptop. 
No way. The laptop looks pretty old. It's covered in dust. So... It's broken. I tried pressing a power button earlier, but nothing happened. It's broken, huh? Too bad. I was hoping I could use it to go online and see what's going on in the outside world. Oh my god, I'm yawning. Sorry. If it's broken, there's nothing I can really do about it. Um... How long am I going to be stuck in here being watched by all these cameras and this? I'm starting- I'm starving from information from the outside world. I feel like there, there's a TV that worked and then I think we can get out of here. Yes. Um... And then there's a bunch of chairs here. I don't know why they're there. Oh, another classroom. Sick. Let's go into the classroom. Reality isn't everything. That isn't ominous at all. Wait, no. I know it's pointless, but I can't stop looking at the clock. It's forced to have it, I guess. Okay, that's fine. So there's nothing really in here besides this another classroom. These windows are in the same middle place as the, as the, second, as the first floor. So, I guess we can get out of here. Okay, I think that's it, right? Um, the library, the bathrooms. Oh, 2A, it's another classroom. The babies. If you please be quiet. Oh, hi, Sokka. I see. This must be what he meant by a new world. So true. Huh. I should probably take a really <clears throat> close look around. Uh, nothing else besides the same thing. Yeah, okay. Let's get out of here. Yes. Let's get out of here. Um. Look in here if I go up and around. Oh, wait. The pool. I forgot about the pool. <gasps> the pool. Oh. Just a second. Oh, Makoto. Hey, guess what? Guess what I found? A pool. There's a pool here. A pool. Pool, pool, pool. You don't have to keep repeating it. I got it. Okay. And there's a ton of exercise equipment in the locker room. Sakura's gonna go nuts when she finds out. So true. Hey, you got that? You are right about that. He just seems way more excited than usual. Well, yeah. She's the ultimate swimmer. She loves the pool. Hey, Chihiro, have you checked out the pool yet? Uh, um... No. I don't like wearing swimsuits. Oh, honey. You do seem like the type- Yeah. But... But still, it sounds like the locker rooms here have all the exercise equipment you could ask for. <clears throat> Maybe I'll give it a try. I'd like to get a little bit stronger. I kind of- Well, I kind of like to get a little bit stronger. You have to get stronger. I have to say that's kind of unexpected. Yeah. But not even brave enough to step foot into the locker room. Or I'm not even brain. Damn. You didn't even want to go into the locker room? Um... No, it's not that I don't want to. It's just... I don't get it. Is she afraid of locker rooms or something? Oh. Weird phobia, though. Well, it could be a dysphoria <laughs> thing. The second floor has opened up. The living area has grown. A number of fa facilities are now available. And then, whoa. Whatever else is going on, I, I must admit I have been. Things have been made much more comfortable for us. Do you understand? Whoa! If things continue like this, the occasional class trial may not be so bad. <laughs> mm. There's a gun. That is a real gun. That is an automated weapon. It's not like we're at a, at war here. Why would we need something like that here? I know why. <laughs> Um, let's, does it say something for the girls? This door's a locker room? <laughs> this is the girls' locker room. This is fine. A true gentleman will respect their space, yes? Shh. Well, okay. Behind the door is the locker room? Yeah! Oh, and guess what? I, I guess you need your handbook to get into the locker rooms. Really? Of course! Really, really? Ooh. Oh! Ooh. Hmm. If you want to unlocker the locker room. 
You'll have to swipe your personal e-handbook across the card reader next to the door. Uh -huh. However, to ensure maximum security within each locker room, only a boy's handbook can open the boy's locker room and the girl. Same goes for the girls. And that's the bottom line. But... But what if someone opens the door and then someone else sneaks in? <laughs> Anyone who commits such indecency will be punished without mercy for the scandalous sexual depravity. <laughs> Damn. And that's why that's there. See that Gatling gun mounted on the ceiling? <laughs> Literally go. Just a second. I bet it really hurt to get shot by that thing. Really, Asahina? No way. Um, um, no, I think it'd be a little worse than that. <laughs> Just a little bit. Hmm. What happens if someone loans their handbook to someone else? A boy could borrow a girl's handbook that would get them into the girl's locker room, would it not? Ha! Well, that never even occurred to me, so th to think someone could be so low, so cowardly, so devilish. Hmm? Okay, then how's this sound? I got Time it. for a new rule. As of this moment, loaning your e-handbook to another student is strictly prohibited. <laughs> there. So now nobody can get the handbook to anyone else, right? You like that? I'm kind of a genius, right? It's cause my, because uh, 100% of my brain is cotton. Uh huh. Honestly. I do not imagine anyone who would have let their handbook out in the first place. Yeah. That's that true. Okay? After all, they would likely be held responsible for anything that person might do using the handbook. So. But you um... know, you seem awfully concerned with all this locker room security stuff. Of course! Because all you teenagers are sex crazy maniacs. No! 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 You're at that age trying to <laughs> be a plastic bottle. Oh my god! So keep, to keep anything unseemly from happening, I have to maintain a rigorous watch. <laughs> In that case, I would ask to do the same thing. Keep, keep the same- what? And I would ask that you keep the same close eye on our dorms. If some man, some woman decided to share a room, there'd be nothing to stop them. <laughs> All I care about is protecting the holy image of the school itself. Uh-huh. Disgusting. Sure. Sure you do. Um... I don't care what happens in your private dorms, by force or by cunning, do whatever you want. Just the worst. I hate you so much. Yeah. See ya. Okay, later. so new regulation is now in place. See ya. <laughs> um. Man, that stupid bear totally ruined my mood. Maybe I'll go for a dip to cheer myself. You got it. Up. Celeste, you here? Do you want to come with me? As for me. Sorry. Okay. There is nothing I hate more than getting water on my face. Ooh. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh. Damn. Huh? Okay. I forgot I had stuff up. How come when you're in a flunk, there's nothing better than getting a good swim to pull you out of it? You know what? That's actually kind of fair. Pretty sure it only applies to you, but that's kind of fair. I have a friend who's a swimmer. They're really good. She's really good. No. Anyway, I now have a pretty good idea of what's on the second floor, but I don't see anything that might lead to any kind of exit or anything. Yeah, no, I don't think so. All I can do now is hope someone else found something worthwhile. Okay, better get down to the dining hall. Yep, let's go. Listen to me. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, how did it go? Did anyone discover any interesting new things? Or anything? Any interesting new anything? Yes, indeed. It's a library. Okay. And a pool, a friggin' pool, and locker rooms filled with exercise equipment. Well. There was not, however, anything resembling an escape route. So true. Yeah, she's right. I see! Well, hey, there's no reason to get all sulky. Wait till you hear about my amazing discovery, oh yeah? What did you find, Kyo? Quiet down and listen! The warehouse and bathhouse on the first floor of the dorms are now open. Oh! You hear me? Oh, that's right. I forgot they were open. And the warehouse is chock full of foods, clothes, whatever you want. There's so there's so much, it's insane. <laughs> so go ahead and stuff yourselves to the, the gills whenever you feel like. Ha ha ha. Are you okay Keep with this? Keep in mind, of course, there that going out at nighttime is is still prohibited. Please do not forget. Yo. Okay. And what <laughs> what a, about a fucking way out of here? You find anything like that? 
Oh, well, um... What? Yeah, there wasn't what? anything in the warehouse so we could get our asses out of here. Nothing? Fortunately, uh, no, not that I saw. Hey, come on! You fucking people. <laughs> what? Who gives a shit? Mmm... Mondo. Stop fucking around! No, I won't. We're still trapped in this piece of a shit school. We need to find a goddamn way out. <laughs> well, yeah. That's by killing someone. No, no, there's no point in taking your anger out on us. Adaptation is key. Yes, for now we must each find a way to enjoy our current situation. You piece of... Oof. <laughs> for now, let's just continue our investigation and let everyone know if, sh if you just should discover something. So then... Oh, shoot, you know what? I probably should retweet my tweet. I forgot about my tweet. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Nope. Issues. Sorry. So are we done for today? Well, yeah, yeah I guess so. Oh, Kyo looks so sad. Seem to suddenly grow heavy. Was this the plan? Was this the mastermind's plan to give us hope, just to turn around and betray that hope? Oh. Ding dong, ding dong. Let's go. Announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bug bite. Damn, we all promised to leave our rooms during the night time. There's nothing much else to do. Yeah. Guys, I'm craving a monster. Really bad. But I can't have a monster. Because I- Ugh! Everything is going to be shit. Mon Mr. Monokuma, Mr. Monokuma, do you have a second? I don't really like myself. I don't have any kind of skill or hobby. I, I can say I'm super good at. My grades are totally average. My reflexes are okay, not great, not awful. I can get into a decent college, um, where I make a few friends, maybe find a normal girlfriend. Sorry, I need to check my. Which is exactly. I why I don't make who I am down. I understand that now. My life is just one giant copy paste. Wow. Okay. I don't have an imagination. I'm just a perfectly average cardboard cutout. You see what I mean, right, Mr. Monokuma? Uh huh. Good morning. Ding dong, bing bong. Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m., and nighttime is officially over! Time to rise and shine! Get ready to greet another beautiful day! Oh, that's right! I wanted to let you know that your e-handbooks have been updated! New regulations have been added, so please take a look and enjoy your school life more than ever before! New rule has been added. All right, let's look at that. The loaning your ebook thing. Yeah, probably. Right now, I need to hurry and head to breakfast. Breakfast. Yeah, there's nothing really new. I can look at the. 
Let's look at the handbook, shall we? Um, regulations. One, two, nighttime, ten to seven. Uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Loading your e handbook is a new one. Added as necessary. Okay, mm. six. How many did I have? I had 83. Let's go to. Let's get out of here. I don't need. Oops. get off the map. I don't remember. Uh-oh. Oh, tab. Okay. Wait, can we go into the bath? I want to go into the bathhouse. Oh, wait. Uh, in the dining hall. We have to go to the dining hall. Rude. Oh, shit. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. Is everyone here already? Yo, yo, yo! Am I unmuted? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't mean to do that. Whoopsies. Um. Yeah. Um. Should they be using enough? Just be patient. Let's yeah. see. I missed all of that. Hold on. Let's go. What was that? Is everyone here? Nope. So wait. I'm Biaki and Taka. Biaki's no surprise. The strange Taka's not here yet. Now in Taka, I imagine he's trying to get the King of Tartans up and out of bed. Be shooting enough to be patient. Okay, fine. I don't mind waiting for them, but there is one problem, which is I'm thirsty. I'm hey, get... come on! How the hell is that a problem? <laughs> yeah. Here for me. Would you make me some tea? Mm hmm? Yeah. <laughs> Milk tea, if you please. Ooh. Well. Why me? Let's see. The roundish figure reminds me of the owner of the coffee shop I used to frequent. That's your reason? It's kind this of is fine. I can feel my throat dying and drying out. Quickly, please. Oh. Okay. Um. Damn. Hmm. Weird. Okay, sorry. Apparently unable to refuse Celeste's order, he for me skulked his way into the kitchen. And a few minutes later. There you go. <laughs> Thank you for waiting. He for me. Hifumi reappeared with a tray in hand, the gentle aroma growing stronger as he approached. <laughs> hmm, finally. <laughs> Couldn't have made some for the rest of us, you know. There's no way to think about I this in a common sense kind of I way. I pathetically decline. You're not my type at all. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, it's all about the law of casual... Casuality? Basic instinct. Act and react. <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> Why tell him? Why then, if you don't mind? A small smile across her lips as she held, played across her lips as she held the teacup delicately in her hand. Oh, wait. She cocked her head to the side, and threw the cup as hard as she could at the wall. <laughs> ah. What? What? What are you doing, my white little rabbit? Oh God. <sighs> I hate this kind of tea. Um. um I don't understand. Yes, Imagine indeed. Imagine we're at a coffee shop, just any normal everyday cafe. I sit down and I order some tea. They ask me, what would you like, lemon or milk? Now further, imagine that I replied, oh yes, I would like milk tea, please. In this case, along with the tea, you may bring me a small container of milk, yes? <sighs> but this is not for me. I am among those who prefer the milk to be part of the process from the outset. What? The fragrance is just so overwhelmingly sweet that way. Adding milk or lemon right before you drink is like dousing your fries and ketchup. 
Mere condiments. What? Whenever looking for a cafe, I first review the menu to see if they offer properly the proper style of milk tea. There's a proper <laughs> style of milk tea? Really? Huh. I cannot acknowledge my any milk tea that does not add the milk during the brewing process. Is that not what happened? If I had to describe our shared reaction would be to what we just heard, I'd have to go with wide-eyed bewilderment. Um, I went to all the trouble of making that tea. You wanted me to go even further? Yeah, ooh. <sighs> Weird, okay. Yes, I realize that can be a bit of a hassle. Even in cafes that order proper, offer proper milk tea, it's always more expensive than simple tea with milk. It takes more time to prepare, surely, but <laughs> why even bother creating a menu if you're not going to offer the highest level of quality? You also are very... Okay, well, we don't actually have a menu. You little bitch! Whoa! <laughs> that does not matter. Hurry up and bring me what I asked for. Say what? Wow. Yay! Jesus. <laughs> I do love coercion. No, you fucking huh? don't. Um, you're like a totally different person just now. <laughs> shit, shit. You really went psycho there. No way. Um. <laughs> Sorry. Um. That's weird. Okay. Um. Hmm. I knew there was some. There was always more to her than I first met her. I'd hate to have her as an enemy. So true. Seriously, man. She's one scary chick. Exactly. She's so spooky. <laughs> Um, seriously, man, she's one scary chick. The dining hall floors flew open and one of the late arrivals came storming in. But, hmm. bad news, everyone, there's a mystery afoot. Oh. Huh? What? What happened? <clears throat> it would seem that Byakuya refuses to leave his room. I stood there pressing his doorbell over and over, but he never showed himself. Maybe he just wasn't there. I think maybe... I'd like to think so, but I'm worried something might have happened to him. Oh my god, this early? No, what he meant by that. He didn't have to say anything else. Everyone understood exactly what that might mean. It might be a good idea if we split up and go look for him. Listen to me! Oh, I was just about to suggest the same thing. What's your problem? Stop trying to one-up everyone. Um... Okay, I'll go check his room one more time. I'm just going to keep on hammering the button until I get a response. Well then. Well then, the rest of us can go check the rest of the building. Uh, well, um... Before it's, you know, too late. Anyway, we have to go do our best. So where might Byakuya might have gone? Where might Byakuya have gone? God, I can't speak. Maybe he's trying to check the second floor. Please, I don't want to walk all the way up there. I'm going to talk to Celeste. Celeste, are you going to help look? <laughs> I've not had my tea yet. Oh, piss off. As for me... Until my face is satisfied, I have no urge to do anything. <laughs> if you're in a hurry, feel free to motivate you for me to move faster. Okay. But you aren't... Aren't you being kind of selfish? But okay. Um, are we gonna get out of here? Yes. Um, he's probably not gonna be in the bathroom. I think I know where he is. He's probably in the library. Yeah. But I don't know. Oh, hi, Mo. Hi, Mondo. I'm just called you Makoto. How's it going? You find him? No. Hey, come Shit, on. Yeah, where the hell you go? He's got his head so far up his ass. Who knows what's going on with him? That's so true. I figured maybe he was talking, taking a bath or something. By the way. So, so what about you? You a morning bath kind of guy? Hell yeah. After spending all night riding your hog, wine, winding your face is nothing better than a morning dip. That's actually kind of fair. The hot water loosens you up and the heat of your soul gets your heart and body pumping. Sick. Sure thing. I'll have to take your word for all that. What? What? Do you not know what, what I'm talking about? Fucking nerd. Mondo. Hell yeah. Guys gotta expose themselves to each other, you know? Come come, see, come with me next time, you'll see. I'll think about it. 
But I mean, it's not like you've been riding your hog here in school, right? Exactly. Okay. This is the area. I don't think there's anything there. Let's... Um... How... Oh god. I don't remember how to go to different floors. Exit. Oh wait. Right here. Um... Let's just go here. No! Tab. I'm just skipping. Hey, so you thought you'd come to come here too, huh? So... If you think about what Byaki was so interested in yesterday, you can probably guess where he is right now, right? What was he interested in? Oh! Um... Library, 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 library. It's to be... The library is the other way, isn't it? Library. There you go. I completely passed it. Look at me. Oof, and looked inside. I cried out in sudden surprise. Byakuya? Ooh. Reading. Well, all the things I'd imagined he'd most definitely wasn't one of Hey, uh, what are you doing? I'm fishing. What does it look like I'm doing? I'm trying to read, so if you could be quiet. Oh, sorry. Wait, no! What are you doing here? Everyone's super worried. We've all been looking for you. Who asked you to do that? Because we're all supposed to meet up in the morning and eat together. We made a promise. A promise? <sighs> Can't I get a second's peace and quiet around here? Oof, he snapped his book shut and so he stood up smooth and silent as a shadow. Meanwhile, the others must have heard me yell and started showing up one after another. Yo! Biakia, so this is where you've been hiding. Uh, what the heck you doing here, man? Mm -hmm. We were very concerned. <laughs> um, well, you had no reason to be. I was just reading. I, I've never read such a coarse novel before, but it might have just proved it might just prove useful at some point. Well, what are you reading? <laughs> a mystery novel. <laughs> Ironic. Well. What, so are you gonna use what you're learning in there to betray us? <laughs> Don't be stupid. Yeah. <laughs> it's just something to keep in mind. Yakuya, I hate you. Yeah. What? Naturally. If I decide to fight, of course I'll come up with something original. Otherwise, this game of ours will be totally boring, right? <laughs> not often. You, it's not often you get to shake to take that take part in such a high stakes, high tension activity. So if you're gonna do it, you have to make sure it's entertaining. <laughs> His words send a chill down my spine. Ooh. There's an undeniable smile on his face as he spoke. He looked at like he was enjoying himself. Like he was actually enjoying himself. Enjoying this deranged killing game. Damn you! What the fuck do you mean, game? That's fucked up. Hm. But it is a game. It's a game of life or death, which is which can only have one winner. That's all there is to it. <sighs> he is right. There was a zero it's a zero sum game. Are you okay it's with part this? Of game theory, a mathematical model. In game theory, what we are going through now is called a zero game sum. Zero sum game. Wow, I can't talk. It's a game. It's a type of game in order for one person to gain something, another must necessarily lose something. In other words, it's, it's an, it is a situation in which a participant must, participants must compete for positions or resources. Oh my God, I can't. I read. see. Do you mean like kind of a, a kind of elimination match? Actually, entrance exams, sports tournaments, job openings, those social interactions fall into this category. Exactly. Whoa, sorry. I'm yawning. Everyone must scramble to obtain something which is limited. For you to succeed, someone must fail. Or someone else must fail. This also applies to the school life we have been subjected to here. In that case, is that okay? Our limited resources that that only one of us can successfully become the blackened. So in other so, words... This game was designed from the beginning to force one of us to try and defeat all the others. 
That can't be what they had in mind. <laughs> that is why adaptation is so crucial. For tho if those who want to escape would disappear, there would be no reason to continue playing the game. What? But why would I want to stop playing? It's so much fun. Ooh, he smiled. The smile was filled with an evil intent. It's, he twisted his face to something non-human. <sighs> Sounds like you, you, you do not acknowledge even the possibility that you might lose, am I right? Naturally. Of course. <laughs> you do not, ex you do not sp speak like the others. Exactly what I would expect from the to Togami heir apparent. <sighs> Togami? 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 Oh my god, I can't remember his address. Well, Togami, I guess. It's a normal arrogance. It's just normal arrogance, isn't it? Just a second! You talk like... You talk like that, but what if you end up dead? Not possible. I won't. It simply isn't possible. You son of a bitch! Wow. Who the fuck do you think you are? Hmm. You know, I just still can't believe it. What? Believe what? <laughs> that an uneducated, brain-dead, useless piece of garbage like you has survived this long. Wow! Piece of shit! I'm gonna kill you. Don't. Don't make me repeat myself. Like I said, myself. I won't die. <sighs> you keep saying that, but... <sighs> do not bother arguing with him. For him, the concept of losing simply does not exist. So true, true. He is the ultimate affluent prodigy, after all. A, born, a boy raised to succeed from the day he was born. He considers victory his destiny and has lived his life accordingly. Tests and cha challenges are merely ways for him to stand victorious, even if it is a life or death situation. <laughs> is that not so, Byakuya? <laughs> At least one of you seems to understand. Isn't it wonderful? Is it because I'm this is because I'm the same as you? Games are meant to be won. That's enough. Are you trying to suggest that we're on the same level? Close that vulgar mouth of yours. Oh! Well, well, I do apologize. Hmm. Anyway, let's just get... Let me just say this to all of you. Y'all need to try harder. If, it, if an opponent isn't going to give it their best, what's the fun for me? N no, that's a terrible way to look at it. What? Hmm. It's because... This isn't a game. Our lives are on the line, you know. To kill your own friend is... Is... That's horrific! <laughs> friends? Who decided that? Huh? <laughs> We're not friends. No, quite the opposite. We are in competition. We're enemies. But, but... But, you know... What? But what? Stop trying to force yourself... Force your contradiction... Contradictions on me and just accept that what I'm... Accept what I'm telling you. Um... Wow! I can't talk. Um... Come on! Yes, if you can... If you have something to say, say it. Otherwise, keep your mouth closed. Wow. Ouch. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh. Stop fucking around! Hey, shit, hey, stop. You get off on bullying people, I can't fight back? You wanna try that on me? Hmm. So, you're back to pretending to be friends, huh? Let's... And how long do you think that's going to last? Piece of shit! Fuck you! What? Is that all you can say? <laughs> it's unfortunate you wouldn't waste you would waste your breath on such empty gibberish. You son of a bitch! Ooh, Wando, don't do it. Wando, oh, Just a second! Hold on, just calm down. Piece of shit! I am calm. No, you're not. Ah, how is this calm? Hmm. <sighs> Sorry. Sorry, Jet. I don't have any intention of working with the rest of you any longer. To cooperate during an elimination game is, well, frankly, a waste of time. And I hate wasting my time. Waste of time. Not possible. Engaging in friendly group meals is out of the question. Someone could easily poison our food. With what? I'd rather not become part of the Last Supper just yet. Duh, shit. Quit talking like you're in a fucking movie or something. Goodbye. You're in a video game, so I guess it's worse. And all I'm saying is that, unfortunately... Ultimately, you're all free to do whatever you want to do on your own. Goodbye. Without a second glance, he left. There wasn't anything we could do to keep him from going. His way of thinking was just beyond anything the rest of us could even comprehend. But... Thank you, Storm. Thank you. Be nice. 
Thank you, Storm. I'm th thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for being on my side here. Damn, I hate him. Was he serious about all that? Yes. <laughs> He's a... <laughs> Sorry. He was, without a doubt. Don't fuck with me. Fuck him then. So true, Mondo. So true. Mondo is best. <laughs> Maybe. What he said, he might not necessarily be wrong. Well, Toko, shut your mouth. Hold on. I mean, you can say, you can't, can you say for sure someone won't poison our food? Aww. Hey, come on, you too, Toko? Anyway. Well, it's not like anyone would care if, if I was gone, right? Toko, <laughs> actually, I bet you all want me gone. You all think I'm disgusting. None of us think that. Uh, I'm telling you! You just think you don't think that. Mm. Uh. I know some of you like to play the victim, but this is totally out there. Mm. You think I don't know, but I do. You I, you want me gone. And I'm what sure the, the rest of you want the same thing, don't you? Hey, Toka, wait! <laughs> just let her go. Once she gets, Once she gets going like that, there's nothing you can say to bring her back. Our breakfast meeting came to an end without answering any questions. So true. Everyone headed back to their rooms. I don't know what to do. Jeez, I'm tired already. But I don't have time to, for even one day off. Wow. I need to get myself going. Free time. Oh, okay. So what do we do? Leave the area? Yes. Um. All right. Who should we spend our free time with? <laughs> Um, first off, I want to, hold on, is it right here? I think it's in the first floor. Because I have so many coins, I want to go to the shop. Let's go to the store. So I just uh -huh, kind of hate looking at it. Maybe she just start beating up and beating up on it. Let's see. I want to try it. Yes. I got an item. Going. I'm gonna go to 70 and then we'll, we'll head on out. Alright, we got a ring. person would do. Oh, I got a cup of noodles. Sick. And then we're going to 70, you said, right? I got whatever that is. That already as a repeat. I got underwear. Okay. Oh. things. Sick. Okay. Oops. 
Let's leave. Yep. Yeah, we should probably get going. We're done. Yes, we're leaving the area now. Um... Where is everyone? Um... Who do we want to spend our time with? Yeah? We can go with Kyoko. Um... That's only the that's the only person I really want to spend time with. Storm, who should I spend my time with? Um Do we wanna go with Kyoko? I'm going with Kyoko. Go. Whew. Put my energy into watching Alfred myself. I don't have time to worry about any anyone else. Let's spend some time with Kyoko. Correct. You want to spend time with me? However. But I don't have anything to say. Are you okay with that? That's fine. I spent some time with Kyoko in silence. That's fine. I, grew, uh, I wanna yes, I wanna give Kyoko a gift. I don't know what I have. Uh Cup of noodles. <laughs> Shears. I don't know what. I don't know if I have anything she'd like. I don't, uh. I'm not gonna give. No. She might actually like the crust. I might give her the crust. I just want to see if I have anything else. Oh, I can do it with the air Sick. Key item. I can't give her that? Okay. Let's give her potato chips? Nah. Um, I don't know. Like, I have nothing that she'd like. Really, at least. Um, I guess. Correct. Are you sure about this? Sorry. Is that when she liked it? Oh. Are you, are you scared, Makoto? Yes, I am terrified, actually. Huh? Hey, being trapped in a place like this? Who wouldn't be? Of course I'm scared. I'm being trapped in this insane school. Correct. Ah, that's good. That's good? So... Fear is proof that your imagination is functioning. Frankly, I feel bad for anyone who, who can't feel fear. Whew. Without imagination, you can never deduce which action to take next. But what would you do? What about, what about you? You seem totally calm. You don't act afraid at all. Wrong. I'm scared too, of course. I simply hide my emotions. There's no advantage to be gained from letting others see how you feel. That is a mood, Kyoko, but do we need to talk? <laughs> you hide? Huh? Correct. Which, which, I, what, what I mean is I'm not as foolishly open as you are. F foolishly open? Listen. Also, this, the fear I experience is a little different from yours, I imagine. Huh? What do you mean? So... You're afraid of what might, you might lose, right? Correct. But I'm afraid of what I've already lost. Sorry, I don't understand. <laughs> I know. She didn't bother answering any further. She just turned and- Goodbye. Oh. With that, she was gone. With that. Well, we're still getting to know each other. Maybe we'll talk more next time. I don't think I understand her at all. Yeah. Kyoko's report card has been updated. Yay! The maximum number of skill points has been increased. Look at me! Look at me go. Once we were all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. 
Is it nighttime already? Or did it just reset daytime? It's still plenty of time left. I can just sit around. I should head out. Um, now who should I spend time with? Storm, if you're still in chat, or someone, anyone in chat, who should I spend my time with? Hold on, look, I'll pull up the report card so you guys can see. We already did with Kyoko, so I don't know. I really don't. Mm. We can go with Chihiro. I like Chihiro. Chihiro's four foot ten. Chihiro's so small. Oh, me and Celeste are the same height. Sick. <laughs> um. Let's see where everyone else is. We can go there. We can go to the kitchen, the dining hall. You know what? What are you in the dining hall? Okay. I'm going to go to the dining hall. Because I want to go talk to Asahina. I want to talk to Asahina. She's a sweetheart. I love Asahina. Come on. Let me talk to her. Hmm. The key is not the will to win. Everyone has that. The key, the, it's the will to prepare to win. That's what. The, that's important. Yeah. That's a quote from basketball coach Bobby Knight. Okay. So it's like we have to work hard, you know? Hmm. I, yes, let's spend time with you. Okay. I was thinking of going to school for a quick dip. You should come with me. Let's go swimming. I went for a swim. Hina and I grew a little closer. I want to give Hina a present. Yes, I love Hina. I love her with my entire heart. I'm going to go give her a gift. I kind of want to give her uh, the soup. The cup of noodles. I don't have anything else I can really give her. Um, but I can't give the crest. Yeah, I wanna, well, should we give her the cup of noodles? I like cup of noodles. <laughs> Thank you, read my mind. Oh, does that mean she liked it? Yeah. Hmm. Oh man, oh man, what's up? Okay. I'm getting totally fired up. Ah, how come? <laughs> how come? Doesn't matter. Now that I'm revved up, I need to let it out. Let's race. I don't think that's a good idea. I wouldn't stand a chance anyways. That's right. Really? I don't mind running a solo run. Well, hold on. You seem you seem you always seem so excited, Hina. What's your deal? Hey, are you making fun of me? No, honey, no. I'm just impressed. Hmm. Really? I used to know this one guy. He was always like, "Hey, Hina, you're like a super spaz." Super spaz. Yeah. Yeah, like he'd see me wearing shorts in winter and he'd say stuff like that. But if I lose to the cold like that, it just means you weren't dedicated enough. Hina, that is not good for you. <laughs> you didn't get sick? You got it all wrong. Gonna make sick is for the week. <laughs> oh my god. If you're really dedicated, winter means even lighter clothes. No. It's all part of your training. No. No. Hmm. So, like, are you the type of who gets sick easy? Actually, yeah. Hmm. See, you're soft. You need more training. Okay. I've got the perfect remedy to keep someone like you as fit as a fiddle. What kind of yeah. remedy? Yeah, I actually do this to myself every morning. You strip down to your waist, then take a dry towel and start rubbing down your bare skin. No! Why? I call it... I call it, uh... Huh? What do I call it again? A way to keep healthy by stripping down and rubbing a towel across your skin. Let's take a shot at this. Is this towel treatment? Is this something like a towel treatment? You got it! Oh my god, yeah, that's it. <laughs> I love going down to my apartment balcony and stripping down, feeling the wind on my skin. No! God, it feels... Wow. No. We're not... So you went and stripped down? And you were okay with that? Yeah, no. <laughs> uh, yeah. You should give it a try if you haven't got... Your hem you haven't got your health, you haven't got anything. Well, yeah. I don't have my mental health, but here I am. <laughs> I, <laughs> I did see you catch a cold or something. 
I've been updated. Yay! I have to bring introduced to a unique sickness prevention method. I went back to my room. I think I have time for one more, or is it nighttime already? No, it's nighttime already. Never mind. Just kidding. Time for Mimi's. Mimi Lulu. Um. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now, now 10 p.m. As such, yep. soon the doors to the well, door. Okay. Yep. <laughs> okay. So true. Um. Let me see something. How long have I been streaming? For an hour and a half. Okay. That's fine. Um, another day gone. Even though the day's over, this game definitely isn't. How long is this gonna keep going? All the stress and anxiety keep me from falling asleep until late in the night. Oh. Uh, Monokuma Theater. Whenever I spot a cute girl, I have a tendency to stare. I can't help it. I just gaze with intensity. The other day, I rode my bike to this train station. I was in the bathroom, just looking at myself in the mirror. Where are you now? Okay. Great. Lovely. Good morning, everyone. It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. Get ready to greet another, another beautiful, beautiful day. day. I don't remember. Let's get to the dining hall. All right. Let's get to the dining hall, shall we? We shall, I guess. Let's go. Back the same as always, but uh oh. <clears throat> this is, everyone is just a little small. Yaki and Toko had stormed off yesterday, and it wasn't too surprising they hadn't come today. Oh. Even the table looks bigger somehow. <sighs> I assume it's just because three people are dead and two are abstaining. Yeah, with five people missing, I guess it would feel kind of empty. Hmm. Still, but I know Byaki is whatever, but shouldn't we go check on Soko? For serious? I vote no, she's super annoying. Damn, yeah. <laughs> How can you be so cold? You are a piece of rock candy. You're like a piece of rock candy. But you I hear me? Rock candy. The rock candy isn't cold, it's sweet. <laughs> Shit. Anyway, Byaki is the real problem. If we don't keep an eye on him, he might really kill someone. You can see it in his eyes. Huh? Mm -hmm. We got no choice. Get some rope. We're gonna we're gonna have to keep him bound and gag. No, we're not. I think that's gonna be a little overboard. Count on it. He's right. In this situation, there's nothing scarier than when Ali turns into a loose cannon. Well, isn't it's just like when when we were kids and someone goes crazy at sports day or whatever. <laughs> what? What the fuck are you talking about? You're gonna lose the rope. Do tuggle. You're gonna, you're gonna use a board to do. Tug of war? Rope to do tug of war? Wow, I can't be. talk. I'm not an idiot. Well, Yo! you are an idiot. Wow. D Damn Who you. Who are you calling stupid? Who are you calling stupid? Wow. What's wrong with you, hero? You don't look so dirty. Aww. I'm just going through a little self loathing. Oh, honey. Self loathing. Well, after, Bialki, after what Bialki said to me, I just got so nervous. I locked up. I couldn't say anything. Mondo ended up having to me out and even he said I was someone who can't fight back. Aww. Oh honey. Chihiro. Ah. I feel I love Chihiro. I see some mana made you depressed. What? Wow. What? So what? So how is it my fault? Hey, come on. I wasn't trying to be mean. Besides, girls are just naturally weak anyways, right? Well... Oh... Are you crying? 
because you were screaming like a lunatic. Oh, yeah. honey, no. <laughs> hey, come on. Don't cry. It's my fault, okay? I won't yell at you anymore. Mm. Really? I'm not sure I can believe that. Huh? Just shut up. What? What? Oh, yeah, I'll make you a promise as a man. Huh? Promise as a man? Yeah, that's right. Maybe I mentioned this before, but ever since I was a kid, there was one thing my brother told me over and over again. He said that no matter what, a real man always keeps his promises. That's what he left me. That's what he left me. Um, left you? Yeah. Yeah, my brother's dead. Oh, I see. That's true. Anyway, I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to make you guys all cry. All you guys cry. Yo. Anyway, you can trust me when I make that promise. So you don't gotta cry anymore. Okay. Oh. Thank you. Thank you, Mondo. I love Chihiro. Uh, uh. Sure. But. But I still. I still don't like how I am right now. I have to get stronger. I'm so weak, anything can make me cry. That's not good. Still, don't stress out too much about having to get stronger. Um. No, I want to get stronger. Maybe I should start working out. <laughs> In that case, I would be happy to help you out anytime. <laughs> but then Miss Fujisaki would get smashed into a billion pieces. No. Just a second! Shut up, you. <laughs> Oh, I love, I love Chihiro's laugh. You know? She's so sweet. Finally, finally cracked a smile, huh? I see. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Chihiro, Chihiro's gotten some life back. I love Chihiro. Yeah, man. We keep helping each other out like this. We're bound to get out of this crappy place sooner or later. I mean, someday, I'm sure. So our biggest concern right now is the other two who've never showed up for who never showed up for breakfast. What can I do to try and understand those two better? I don't want to go hang out with them though. So what should I do today? Not hang out with them because I don't want to. Um, please. Anyways, so chats. Chat, 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 chat. Um, I don't want to go there. Let's go. Yeah, no one's up here. Let's go spend time with Chihiro, yeah? Homies right there. Chihiro. I don't think I have a gift for you. Well, I'm Hello there. Hello there, Mikado. How nice to see you here. Yes, I'm hanging. I'm spending time with Chihiro. I love Yay! Chihiro. Yay! Yay! <laughs> oh! Chihiro! I love Chihiro. Chihiro has my entire heart. I love Chihiro, man. I don't know. Um, oh, I can give her... I don't know. I can give her... I'm not gonna give her that. That's gross. Um, let's see. I don't know what those are. Um, I'm dead skin from the body. Oh, okay. Mm. Oh my god, okay. Ah. I kind of want to give him the noodles. But, 
um let's give this huh i can have this <laughs> this made me feel a little better oh mm, no no what's wrong jihiro um it hurts oh did you get hurt you know well, well not really i got a bit i got bit by a mosquito last night oh a mosquito i figured something serious had happened since you were saying how it hurt huh oh did i give you the wrong impression sorry <laughs> oh no you said it hurts did it really bite you that hard um yeah see look she held out her arm and the huge red bump stood out clearly against her pale skin holy cow what should i do it's way past itchy now it really hurts but why is it so big did you bite it while you were sleeping or something you're wrong oh no i was awake but you didn't notice mm. no i noticed but but what you know oh i felt it bite me and i looked down at it but i didn't do anything i just sat there and it watched it suck my blood chihiro you watched it why didn't you smack it huh because that would have killed it right well, yeah but you know i must have been really hungry to suck that much blood chihiro if it was that hungry it would have been really sad not to let it have anything but it's just a mosquito um mosquitoes are living things too though it might have had its own mosquito family sorry sorry i know that's dumb no you don't really you really you don't have to apologize but don't go scratching it okay that'll just make it things worse but but what if it gets so itchy i can't take it well in that case just take the tip of your finger now push down into the bump that'll help huh wow i had no idea exactly. <laughs> you're so smart Oh, <laughs> so that's a whole nother level of scary. No, but I love you, hero. But anyway, don't you think it's kind of strange, huh? What is? You know. Well, the school's completely sealed off, right? So how do mosquito get in? Well, maybe there's somewhere in the school where bugs can live and grow. Some kind of naturey spot, naturey place in the school. Well, I can't say that for sure. But there's not. Uh. Or, 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 there's a secret passage somewhere that leads out of the school secret passage well even if it's there's not i'm sure we'll get out of here somehow as long as we all work together i'm sure we'll make it out of here <laughs> no time you're right working together is super important but of course i don't know how useful how i can be useful i'll probably just weigh you all down no that's not true it makes me feel way better knowing you're here to help huh it does really oh yep so let's all do our best okay thank you okay I love Chihiro. I love. I love them. I love. Report card has been updated. My max skill points have gone up. Let's go. When did I? Oops, I can't. Okay. Once we were all done, we went back to my room. Hold on, sorry, chat. Uh, doing things. There's still time left in the day. I don't feel like sitting here. Maybe I'll go explore. Okay, but what do we do? We can... I don't... Who do we, do, who do we want to hang out with? Um... Yeah, I don't know. We can... Here, let's just leave the room for a sec. Yeah. And then we can see who's available, I guess. Yeah? Um. Sorry. Um, okay. I don't know. We can... <sighs> oh, 
Oh yeah. Um Guess we should press the doorbell. Ding dong. What's your problem? Should I hang out with Toko? Yeah, let's just spend time. You gonna spend time with me? <laughs> I don't know what you're planning, but do whatever you want. Let's spend some time with Toko. We'll go a little closer. That's fine. Yeah, let's give her a present. Let's be nice and give her a present, yeah? We can give her... Wasn't there a thing for... Or am I just going insane? Here are some sunflower seeds. <sighs> oh. Well, if you like me, I was getting stupid again. Oh. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> I stopped having help in anything. Why don't I go back on that? I think I made her mad. You probably do things worse with me now. No. She's standing. Does she want something? But she's not saying anything. Should I talk her? <laughs> you want to talk to me? Well, I can't stop you, so talk already. Okay, sure. What do I say? Uh, so, uh, what do you like to do in your spare time? <laughs> Why do you want to know? Well, I mean, you know, we're trapped here together, right? If we're gonna be friends, it might be nice to get to know each other. <laughs> what did you just say? Um... <laughs> after that part about being trapped, we're gonna be what? Uh, friends? <laughs> oh, I hate that. What do you mean, friends? You think I'm stupid? You're trying to trick me. <laughs> I've already been hurt once before. I'm not gonna let it happen again. You've been hurt? What happened? Anyway! Come on, you know you really don't care about me. You don't want to know about me. even I know that um sorry no that's not true <laughs> fine then <laughs> tell me tell you what <laughs> you know what they why they call me the ultimate riding pro prodigy right yeah sure yeah sure you've won all kinds of thing literature kinds of literature prizes and stuff <laughs> and tell me what I'm good at tell me what my Tell me what my genre specialty is. If you really want to convince me, you give a crap. You well, if you, if you really want to convince me, you give a crap. You should at least know that. Um, romance. It's romance, of course. You actually knew? Yeah. The biggest success was Soul Lingers the Ocean, right? Everyone says it's your masterpiece. The book's such a hit that fishermen shot to the top of the hot, top of hottest men poles, right? <laughs> How'd you, how'd you know all that? There's no way you care about me. I'm telling you, I do. I mean, we're friends, aren't we? I'm blind. Your straightforward nature blinded me. Oh, she goes, ran off screaming like a banshee. Ooh, that's gross. I'm not really sure. Does she hate me now? Report card has been updated. Vocabulary. Let's go. Once we were all done, I headed back to my room. Night time. Time to go Mimi. Mimi's. Mimi time. I'm feeling a little hungry. I better get something before eat before night time. Should head to the dining hall then. Oh, I guess we're going to the dining hall. Uh oh. Let's go to the dining hall. Get something to eat really fast. And now I'm about to get ripped into something. Like I just want to get something to eat, and now I'm getting some ripped into something. And actually, no, I'm already roped in. Listen to me. Hey, Makoto, perfect timing. How, what's going on? Hey, damn it! I have a favor to ask. Favor? I have, I have a bad feeling. Hey, damn it! Come on, Makoto, you gotta be our witness. Witness to what? What? This guy's been talking shit about me since day one, calling me a coward and shit like that. You're corrupt! You are a coward, that's why you turn to violent turn to violence to solve your problems. Yo! That's why you can't do what society asks you while you walk around dressed like that. Huh? 
the f Ooh, the fuck you say? Yeah. I, you don't know shit. You hear me? You've already lost to yourself. You're just, you're, but you're such a coward. You don't even realize. Damn you! So, you. So what? You're saying you're not a coward? You think you're tougher than me? Count on it. I know I am. No. You want to fight? Let's throw down. Prove what you got. <laughs> prove you got what I don't got. You hear me? I accept your challenge. What? So that's what's happening. What's happening with Cody? You gotta be our witness. You're gonna throw down. You're not gonna like start punching each other, are you? Hey. There's a bathhouse on the first floor of the dorm, right? With a sauna inside. I see. A sim I see a simple endurance contest. Is it? Got it. We're going to see who can stay in the sauna the longest, am I right? Piece of shit! Goddamn straight! Ooh, oof. Oh. <laughs> Are you guys ready to... Are you guys really gonna go through with Stop this? Stop fucking around! Oh, shit, yeah. Yo! He'll be done in a matter of minutes. Anyway, people like him are, without exception, all talk. Wow! You wanna throw down? Someone's bold. Bring it on. Hell, let's make things interesting. Who wouldn't want to win without a challenge, right? Interesting. You son of a we're gonna bitch! Bat we're gonna battle with all our clothes on. Ridiculous! Th that's idiotic. Suicidal. Well. You wanna fight? What? You afraid? Chicken. Ba -ba -ba. <laughs> you, you, you're gonna regret this one. Stop fucking around. Shut up and let's do it. Hey, Mondo. What asshole? You can take off your uniform, you know? Go ahead. I won't judge. And you can shut the fuck up and mind your own business. I mean, look at you. Your face is all red. What are you, one of those goddamn hot spring monkeys? It just so happens I was born with a red face. You don't have to act all big, man. Act, you say? <laughs> I'm still plenty good to go. I'm so good. I could eat a steaming hot bowl of soup right now. Hmm. Are they okay? Should have pushed my concern aside. A few minutes passed. Then a few dozen minutes. Then an hour. Don't you think it's about time you gave up? What about you? You can't even hardly talk. Dumbass. <laughs> Say what. Whatever you want, I'm still totally good to go. In fact, I'm starting to feel uh, kind of cold. Ooh. That's probably not good. No, it's not. Hey, hey, guys. I know both of you want to prove how big of badasses you are, but don't you think you've done enough? Shut up! Okay. You just can't win, I guess. Oh, but I want to think of something to eat. Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bug fight. Sick. Hey, did you hear that? It's next time. How about we call it a tie? In a true competition, there's no such thing as a tie. Piss off. You win or you lose. That's the only thing that matters. <sighs> Listen to you, you son of a bitch. Then bring it on. Uh... I'll push you right up to the gates of hell. The gates of hell? That's not a good place to push someone. <laughs> this isn't good, guys. Uh, uh. Yeah, you hear him? Better crawl back on, crawl on back to your room. I'll let you know how it went in the morning. Then you can start spreading my, my legend. Uh-huh. <laughs> Come tomorrow morning. You'll fall down in front of me, down on your knees. Oh, I'll show you where to do it. Kiyotaka Ishimaru, yeah. what are you saying? Big talk from someone whose face is about to explode. <laughs> right back at ya. Okay, well, good night then.
I didn't like how that conversation went. I really hope those two don't overdo it. But I'm sure to the death? No, surely they wouldn't go that far. I'm concerned stay with me and I slowly succumb to sleep. Time to go sleep. Oh, the theater. <laughs> If fate does exist, does that mean your future is de decided the moment you're born? If all your yesterdays pile up to create your tomorrow, is your future as final as your past? I just don't know. That's why I'm still alive! Because I don't know! That's why I desperately cling to life! Okay. Good morning. Fun fact, this used to be my alarm so I can get up in the morning. That scared the crap out of me every single time. Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m., and nighttime is officially over! Time to rise and shine! Damn. Okay. Oops. Get ready to greet another, another beautiful, beautiful day. day! Morning, huh? I hope Mondo and Taka survived. Yeah, they're fine. That's not what I wanted. But, uh, worried about the two of them, I hurried to the dining hall more quickly than usual. And then when I entered... <laughs> what are you talking about, bro? Oh, the bros have started. <laughs> what are you talking about, bro? What the... Yo! Hey, Makoto. <laughs> Thank you so much for acting as our witness yesterday. Huh? Are you... Are they friends now? Ah. <sighs> Um, sorry. The, uh, they've been like this all morning. They were all buddy buddy as soon as they walked in. It feels gross. What? Feels gross. Hell no. Feels great. More like. <gasps> this is the. This was really sexual harassment somehow. <laughs> Forget her, bro. Uh. Sorry. Okay, forget her bro girl, like her just doesn't get our manly bond. You hear me? Damn. Friendship between men is stronger than blood a woman could never understand. Well Ain't that right. Have you seen the marching band? <laughs> what what you just said, bro, that was cool as shit. I should get a tattoo of it. Oh my Without god. A doubt. They are so gay for each other. <laughs> I need to stop. Yo, no, bro, you mustn't. Your body is a temple given to you by your loving parents. Well, someone who won the contest. Piece of shit! Who gives a shit? <clears throat> yeah, you don't. Uh, don't ask stupid questions. What matters is that we both took a part in it together. That's completely different from what you were saying last night. I see. Friendship between men seems very simplistic. Nothing like what I'm used to with girls. So true, though. Ah. <sighs> yeah, for real. Exactly! All through our breakfast that morning. Uh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. All throughout that morning, multi-stream drifting. Hi, Jamie. <laughs> I wanted to look because I felt bad because I just kind of dipped. Sorry. All throughout breakfast that morning, the room was dominated by Mondo and Taka's overpowering brotherhood. Uh huh. All in all, in all, it was pretty. Un it was a pretty unfortunate experience. Hi, Jamie. Love you. <laughs> um, daytime. So what should I do today? Ding dong. Ooh, someone's at the door. Wondering who could be for visit. I opened the door, and someone forced their way in. Who? Who? Toko. Toko, what's the matter? What's your problem? Why are you surprised? Am I really that annoying? <laughs> I'm submitting. Um. Sorry. Um. Well, I already know that I'm annoying. I just came in knowing that, so that makes it okay. No, you're not annoying. I just wonder what was going on. <laughs> I have a favor to ask. I want 
you to go somewhere with me. And where is it you want to go? Well... The library. Huh? What are you... Are you looking for a book or something? Why don't you ask Ryakuya? He spent all his time in the library anyway. <laughs> Did I say something wrong? <laughs> You're not a blabbermouth, right? He. This has to be a secret. I honestly have no idea what you're talking about, but if you want me to be quiet, I'll be quiet. <laughs> then let's go to the library. Okay, I got it. In the library. Jeez, so pushy. <laughs> be quiet, be quiet when you go in. Don't let him see you. She actually was starting to get annoying, but I did what she was said and gently crept into the library. Unsurprisingly, Byakuya was there by himself, absorbed in the book. He's here! Oh, he's really here! Okay, Makoto, go talk to him! Uh, what? Stop being so loud! Just hurry up and go talk to him! You go talk to him if you want to so bad! I can't! I don't want to interrupt him! That's kind of crazy. Okay. Um, a time to be out here, I guess. Jesus Christ. He seems to be really focused on that book. He doesn't seem to. This doesn't seem to be the best time to talk to him. Hey, you. What are you doing back there? Back here? I hate even having to look at you. Ah, so you noticed me, huh? Naturally. Of course. Now hurry up and leave. <laughs> and take her with you. <laughs> hey, um, Byakuya? <laughs> Remember how you said don't be a woman who dominates weak men, be a woman who dom who be a woman dominated by a strong man? <laughs> I never said that. <laughs> well, actually, I just thought it sounded like something you might say. <laughs> Get out. And go take a bath, you smell. <laughs> Ew. Don't make me repeat myself. Don't make me say it again. Now go before your stench latches onto the entire room. Okay. Damn. Yeah. He really dug into us there. Maybe he's in a bad mood. She seems super depressed. Did you? Did he really upset her that much? <laughs> Byakuya, to go that far. He was really. Oh my God. Huh? <laughs> he told me to take a bath and everything. He must really care about my well-being. Well, yeah, but... <sighs> hey, Makoto, what do you think? Think about what? Do you think Byaki and I would be good together? Uh, well, well, now I, I don't really know. Maybe. That's true. I, there's no, really no way to know. <laughs> oh my god. But the distance between us... Oh my god. Because as soon as you realize your feelings, the love is born that's how love works that's not how love works okay there's there might there might come a day where you when you understand maybe someday well bye damn okay ah <laughs> uh, young love shut up blah ba -bum, ba -bum. <laughs> who would have ever guessed you would go from some go for someone like him Shing! but eager passion can also be scary sometimes that leads to Pe leads people off in the wrong direction. <laughs> All of a sudden, I feel exhausted. Maybe I'll head, I'll head back to my room for now. Thank you. Okay. There's still some time left in the day. What to do? Free time? Uh, okay. Leave the area. Let's leave the area. <laughs> um... I don't know. Let's go to the map, shall we? Um. Toko's in her room.
Sorry. Um. I don't know where to go from here now. <laughs> we. Let's go in the warehouse, I guess. I'm assuming this is the warehouse. Yes. I want to talk to Chihiro again. I love Chihiro. Mm. I wonder how the teddy bear actually operates. Could it be a robot with an AI installed in it? No, we don't have that technology yet. Maybe some kind of bear-shaped cyborg from the future? Yes, let's spend time with Chihiro. I love Chihiro. <laughs> you want to sit down and talk for a while? Yeah! I want to spend some time talking to Chihiro. I love... Yes, I want to give Chihiro a present. I love Chihiro. I love Chihiro with my entire heart. Um... I don't know. Um... Um... I'll just give him the light, I guess. Oh wait, because I don't have that anymore. Sure. Thank you. Aw. <laughs> this is the first time I've ever gotten something like this. Oh! Oh. Oh, no, Chihiro, what's wrong? You seem like a pretty heavy sigh. You know? Oh, sorry. It's just everyone else is working so hard to get us out of here. I'm no, I'm no help at all. That's not true at all. But, but... It's okay, you don't have to try and make me feel better. I know it's the truth. It's completely useless without a computer in front of me. At least if a little stronger or something, that I'd be able to help somehow. Listen, you'll get your chance. I'm sure there'll be a time where your skills will come in handy. So you don't have to worry so much, okay? Huh? My skills might come in handy? <laughs> if I get a chance, I'm going to work super hard to come chip in. When it comes to computers, you can count on me. You're right about that, no matter what anyone might say. You're still the ultimate programmer. Speaking of which, how did you get into programming? Huh? Well, I mean, I've always assumed most programmers, pro most programmers were guys, so... Is it really that weird? No, 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 nothing like that. I was just curious what got you interested in it. I mean, why programming, of all things? You know? Why? I mean, there isn't much of a reason. I've always been kind of weak, you know? I've never been able to run around with my friends or anything. We had a computer at home, so I'd kill time poking around with it. I really... And I found out I really liked it. Um, My dad was a software engineer, and he had a bunch of programs and stuff on there that he built. I found one of them and started playing around with it and adding, adding stuff here and there. And that's how I ended up making my very first program. Interesting. What kind of program was it? A um, kind of database software. Database software. You know? A, us a user could communicate with it. Like, it would take that information and find what they were looking for. It was a way of interacting with the computer without having to physically type things out. So Google. She says she... Okay, sorry. Yeah, she said it could understand the user without them having to type things out. I am... Oh, hold on. So that'd have to be... Voice recognition. Use voice recognition? Is that it? <laughs> yep, exactly. Whoop. Hold on, chat. I need to check something really fast. Okay, my mic is a thing. Cool, that works. I've been for two hours, okay. Yep, exactly. You could talk to it and it could actually talk back. It was a lot of fun. You didn't really have to, you didn't have to sound like me. You would get totally absorbed in talking in it. It's kind of like a kid recording themselves and playing it back again. Yeah. Um. The key part of programming was getting it to recognize what I was saying. The recognition accuracy is what was the most important thing. Japanese is kind of hard, so it was pretty challenging. Yeah, but you were able to do it eventually. You're right. And, rup, and right around then, my dad found out I'd mess with his software without permission. I thought he was going to get, I thought I was going to get in so much trouble. <laughs> but all he said was how impressed he was. The software was able to take natural speech and pull it out of key search terms to retrieve information. 
my dad said it worked so well it was going to change the face of software interaction all over the world yeah the development cost is still pretty expensive so it hadn't spread that much yet but anyway i've been addicted to programming ever since <laughs> i can't tell you how happy it made me to make others happy Aww. it's obvious how much you love computers you seem to just light up when you start talking about them it's uh. I had, sorry i spent all this time just talking about myself no i had a lot of fun learning about more about you huh really yeah oh ah my shit is falling over yeah i hope you tell me more next time <laughs> okay let's hang out again sometime it's a promise okay algorithm let's go oh this is so cute I parted with such a hero and went back to my room. It's nighttime, right? Please tell me it's nighttime. Please. Okay. Thank you. Jesus. Ahem. A school announcement. School announcement. Nighttime is quickly approaching. But before it arrives, all students, please gather in the gym immediately. Oh, no. Emergency! Emergency! Shoot. Uh-oh. The gym. Now, why all of a sudden? Oh, why now all of a sudden? I, ooh, I don't like the music. Oh, no. Oh, Kyoko, did you hear the announcement Indeed. just now? I don't want to go, but do we? We don't have any other choice, right? Right. I can't imagine it's going to be good news, but it's not a good idea to defy him here and now. Goodbye. So I'm going on ahead. <sighs> okay. Um. Let's just TP. We're going to the gym, right? I don't remember where the gym is. <laughs> I don't want to talk to anyone. I just want to I just want to go inside. Let's go. Gets together here all of a sudden like this. What could he possibly want? I have no well, idea. Indeed, what might have, what might await us this time? <laughs> he keeps things interesting. That's for certain. Um, How is that fun? How's that funny? Can you smile like a normal person once in a while? Like how is the housewife on classic TV show smiles at the end of an episode? What the heck? There's something totally messed up with you if you cut laugh at a time like this. <laughs> Which one of us is actually messed up? Hmm? Huh? What's that supposed to mean? Hmm. Nothing in particular, just admiring, that's all. I don't want to kill anyone, but as I also don't want to stay here living in blind denial day after day. Hmm. I was just admiring how you could live like that and still keep your sanity. What Eesh. is this? I'm not in denial. <laughs> that reminds me, how do you how would you keep talking to us about the police? Or who you know how you keep how you kept talking about the police or whoever would come to help us? How did that turn out, huh? It seemed possible there was no sign of whatever po whatsoever of possible rescue. Jeez. Well, that's just. Huh? I wonder what actually happened. Certainly. It's strange, that's true. There's no way the police wouldn't know about it. We're right in the middle of a major urban area. What? The police suck. It's so true. Hmm. On the contrary, the power the mastermind may just. may be just that powerful to take control even. To, to, to take control even of the police. Could it be? Oh, this might not be related, but 
<laughs> then don't say it. Hmm. Nope, gonna say it. <laughs> it's not like some occult mystery. It's about last night. I was near the main hall, just staring off into space. When all of a sudden, I heard it. Huh? You heard what? Hmm. A sound that... I don't really know what it was. <sighs> what kind of sound? Hmm. Well, like I said, I don't really know. But if I had to describe it... Could it be... It was like a cons construction site, I guess? A construction site? For serious? I mean, I could be making that up. I only just barely heard anything. <laughs> then you definitely made it up. Must have been the sound of the ocean in that head of yours. What are you talking about? The what? Who? Oh no. Wait, what? Wait. Is it just, okay, it's just him again. Whew. Whew. He's arrived. Alright. <laughs> what Hero heard wasn't the sound of construction. But it could have been an explosion. Huh? Yeah. Or maybe a machine gun. That kinda of, that kinda of sound like construction in a way. Ooh. What are you talking about? What? Ugh, beyond the at this point my mouth is zipped. My lips are sealed. I am fully puckered. It's a secret. Little secret. And Fine, let's move on to what you can tell us. Why did you call us all here? Say what? You don't mean you don't beat around the old bush, do you? Ready for me to just get to the point, huh? If you please. But before that, you mind if I vent a little? No. I hate. <sighs> I'm low on energy these days. My stitching's even losing all its shine and luster. I'm thinking it's probably time to it's probably become what? I'm thinking it's probably because of this whole humboing old everyday life. Yeah. I'm looking for something with a little more stimulation. Something rife with danger and intrigue. Yep. Listen, can I just be frank? Today, the next I'm black hasn't shown up yet, and I'm getting bored. Hey! So um... I've decided to come up with a new way to motivate you. Motivate? Is this another set of videos or something? Are you gonna show us some more demented things to try and drive us all to murder? Damn it! Drive you to murder? What a mean thing to say. Just awful. You hear me? I don't know what you've got planned, but we're not going to kill each other anymore. Got it! No matter what you do, I swear to God, we won't. Hmm. Hmm. That's a very big talk. You, do you do your very best to back it up, okay? Now then, with your permission, let me begin. So this time it's embarrassing memories and secrets. As long as you're alive, it's a it's a given that there's things you don't want other people to know about you. Ta -da! So it's a little inve so I did a little investigating of my own and I dug around up some of your darkest secrets. And those embarrassing memories and secrets are all contained in the envelopes I have right here. I'm going to hand them out now. So take a second to take a peek. Ooh, as Monokuma spoke, he tossed the envelopes at our feet. I quickly snatched the envelope with my name written on it. I nervously pulled out what was written inside, and my entire body suddenly went rigid. Makoto wet the bed until he was in fifth grade. <sighs> Ooh. What? Oh! How? Ah! How'd you find out about this? Everyone started talking at once. <laughs> you have 24 hours. If someone doesn't become blackened by then, Extreme! all your deepest, darkest, most embarrassingest secrets will be exposed to the world. Maybe I'll roll a crowded. Maybe I'll buy a crowded intersection in a van strapped with loudspeakers and spill the beans. Yeah Wouldn't that be so embarrassing? So that's what you meant by motivate? <laughs> yep, you got this. It's all pretty unpleasant. Trust me, none of you want me to reveal that stuff, right? I def it's definitely something I'd rather people not know, but we'll never- we'd never kill each other over something like that. What? What'd you say? Count on it! He's right, your plan is doomed to fail. No one's gonna murder someone f for this kind of thing. This is kind of depressing. Oh, oh no. Is it because for better or for worse, your memories are still a way to connect to the outside world? I have stuff I wouldn't want anyone to know no matter what, so I assumed you'd all be the same. Which is why I put so much effort into preparing this next motive. 
Mm. Man, you're all... You're saying you really won't kill each other other over this stuff? That just sucks. Well, what can you do? Okay, then in 24 hours, I'll expose all your secrets just to make myself feel better. Feel myself a little better. Okay. So sad, so depressed. Farewell not. Or fair not well. Okay. With an almost convincing look of depressed dejection on his face, Monica may receded into the gym's depth. So, um... Yeah, um... Sorry. If you didn't know what to expect at... I didn't know what to expect at first, but maybe we dodged a bullet with this one. Um... I mean, yeah, having those secrets revealed is totally gonna be totally embarrassing. But that's seriously not enough to give someone a reason to kill, right? Listen to me! Good news, everyone. I have a brilliant idea. You hear me? Why don't we all just confess those secrets in those envelopes right here, right now? Without a doubt! If we do that, any and all motive for murder will vanish. That's pretty smart, right? Quiet down and listen! Okay, so my embarrassing thing is... <laughs> I don't want to hear your stupid story. <laughs> what? <laughs> Besides, I don't... I don't want to talk about it. I don't care what anyone else says. I don't want to talk about mine. As for me... Neither do I. N not because it is unpleasant, but because it is impossible. Oh? Well, it's just human nature to want to hear it and say it's impossible. Come on, I'll be good. it'll be good for you. <sighs> Absolutely not. Come on. Come on. Ugh, I hate that. Honestly. As I said. Here we go! No. Hey! I said I don't want to talk about it, you human bag of lard. Damn! Say what? <laughs> I agree with them. There's no need to discuss it. <laughs> what do you think, Chihiro? Uh, I'm sorry. I don't really want to talk about it right now. But, but... I also don't want to leave things the way they are, so maybe we can talk about it later. After I try my best to become strong, then I can tell everyone. So, um... If you don't want to talk, you don't have to. I'm not. I'm not super excited to talk about it either. That's true. If everyone's that mu that much against it, even if my bro is the one who said that you just suggested it, I gotta say no. Hmm. Well, okay then. Either way, it's just a few secrets. I'm sure nobody's gonna kill anybody over it. That's what you're wrong. I hope you're right. A secret's so bad you'd kill someone to keep it. Nobody's gonna got something like that, right? <clears throat> Okay, I'll stop with all the secret talk, but... You hear me? Each one of us has 24 hours to get ready. Having our secrets exposed isn't gonna be fun, but it's not like we're all gonna die because of it. So, you know, um, don't do anything hasty. Well... The way you keep repeating is kind of... Repeating it kind of makes me worry even more. Uh... Oh, sorry. I, I know it's gonna be tough, but... <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight. Don't, Don't let, let the bed bugs bite. bite. Hmm. That's him already, huh? Okay, let's call it a day. Of course. Good idea. We need to prepare for tomorrow. I left. I was left with anxiety, but I couldn't. I just couldn't shake. But we left things as they were and left things as they lay. One by one, we headed back to our rooms. And that is where I'm ending stream. Secret or well on secrets and memories. You don't want anyone to know about. A way to connect th to the outside world. Honestly, all that crap Monokuma was spouting didn't have any effect on me. There's nothing, there's no way anyone would kill over stuff like that. At least, that's what I thought. But maybe I'm just being optimistic. Which is probably why, without too much of a struggle. Jeez, I'm more tired than usual. Super tired today. I fell asleep. But what I didn't know is, even then, a tragedy was taking place. Oh my god, okay. I hate this thing. Come on. Hey, do you have a second? I want to confide in you. It's about time. It's about the prevailing world attitude right now. The difference between passive and active, I mean. For example, it's the difference between. Oops, I killed him. And yeah, that's right, I killed him. 
amazingly, there's a ton of people who don't understand the difference. Can you believe it? There's a huge difference between oops and that's right. You know what I'm saying, right? Anyone can kill anyone in the heat of the moment, but surprisingly few can do it with calculated intent. To make that choice, to then to put it into action, it's way harder than just letting your emotions lead you. It's all about preparation, resolve. So maybe you're wondering, what's the point I'm trying to make? Well, I'm not totally sure myself. Maybe you should try reading between the lines. Uh huh. Morning. Good. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Ah. Well, <laughs> that's your action. I'm glad. Just, just a point. What are you doing here? Yep. I wanted to spice things up, so instead of a school announcement, I decided to wake you up in person. What the hell for? <laughs> because it was it's fun. Hmm. And as long as I'm here, I figured I'd let you hear it right from the bear's mouth. Hear what? <laughs> are you sure you should be acting this laid back? Even, even though something happened to one of your buddy buddy classmates. What? Say what? Your face is all blue, like someone's on the on the verge of death. What happened? What are you talking about? <laughs> That's for me to know and you to find out. Good luck. Something's happened to someone. Is it? Is it? Was it? No, it can't be. There's no way someone would. But what if? No, no. What ifs are pointless, especially now when. Dining hall. I need to get to the dining hall. No. Okay. You know what? Screw it. Okay. That is where I'm ending stream. Ah. Makoto. Uh. Okay. Hold on. That's where I'm stopping. I'm saving here, and I'm or here. I'm gonna overwrite. Yes. And now I'm gonna go return to the main menu. Yes. And I'm ending stream right there. <laughs> Oops. Sorry. That is where I'm ending stream. There we go. Let's see if we. Light is still live. I don't know how much longer they're gonna be live. So I'm just gonna hold on. Light is live still. Um. What makes you think she's awake? Oh, she turned me into a newt. A newt. Actually, let's go to Wolf. Wolf is not live anymore. Light is still live though, so I'll just go. Let's go raid light. They're playing the Cult of the Lamb, because funny Halloween. Let's start the raid. Um, don't forget, so they get, well first thank you guys for sticking around. Second off, don't forget to drink water, take care of yourselves, eat something, stretch. Love you. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.